Hello everyone, Yuki from Anthropology, and today I'm going to show you our smoothening capability using our smoothen body block. It is most commonly used after getting your raw results of your topology optimized result. Let's take a look at this example over here. So I have this automotive bracket, and what I want to do is run a topology optimization on it. So after meshing it, adding in my load cases, and specifying a material, I can run the topology optimization, and I'll get my raw result over here. And one of the first things you'll notice is that the surface is very rough, bumpy and not very ideal for manufacturing. So what I can do is bring out the smoothen body block. Let's talk about the inputs real quick. So it's gonna ask for the body that you want to smooth out. In this case, we're gonna be using our raw result of our top opt part. Um, the grid size over here represents the spacing between each sample points. So the smaller the grid size values will return the implicit body with finer detail. Now the smooth iteration counts controls the number of times that the Gaussian smoothing algorithm is applied to the implicit body. So the higher the count here, the smoother our body will get. Now lastly, the interpolation type, it's going to have these two options, linear or cubic, and these control the smoothening the data. So all we have to do now is take this top off the result, convert it to an implicit body, and then drag this implicit body into our smoothened body. And in a matter of seconds, it's going to give us our smoothened body result. Now we have our smoothened topology optimized part, but I'm in the process we did lose some critical features or our bolt holes, but we can easily bring it back using a couple of Boolean operations. So over here at the top, I have these interfaces. These are the regions of where my bolt holes are. And I can take those faces, convert it to an implicit, and then thicken it, and then combine it back with our topology optimized part. And then after that, I can take the Boolean intersect and intersect it with this solid bracket, our original part. So it's going to keep the material of wherever it's intersecting with this body, and it's going to remove the material where it's not intersecting, like in this case, these holes over here compared to this. And then in doing so, I am able to get my final part with my topology optimized part with my bolt holes also intact. And now all I have to do is mesh it and export it to manufacture. Now, why is this important and why should you do it? Well, with bumpy and rough surfaces you saw earlier, it is not easy to mesh. And even if it does, it'll take longer to mesh and have a higher chance of running into a problem, making it difficult to export out to manufacture. Now, with the body smoothened, it's easier to mesh or slice and easy to export to manufacture. And whoever is 3D printing it or molding it will have a much easier time to do with a cleaner part. Well, I hope you enjoyed the video today and learned something new. Don't forget to download and open up the file to take a look at our workflow. Change a couple of inputs in the smooth and body block to compare different results when changing up some values. Thank you. If you enjoyed today's video on smoothening bodies and want to learn more, set up a demo at anthropology.com, get a demo, and simply fill out the form to speak to an NTOP expert. If you're already an existing user and want to dig deeper, check out support.anthropology.com and use the search bar to ask your questions. Thank you.